One day, the equipment manager at Virginia Tech asked us what helmets should he buy? He was looking to replace some. Steve Rosen was asked that question nearly two decades ago when he was an engineering student here at Virginia Tech. That data don't exist. So we bought the helmets that were available at the time. We tested them all and we saw huge differences. We told our team what was best. They replaced all their helmets, but we made that data available to everyone. And that's how the helmet ratings were born. Fast forward to today and enter the Virginia Tech Helmet Lab, where students use technology to measure the effectiveness of all kinds of helmet types, with sensors rigged up inside these crash test dummies. That testing includes bicycle helmets. For kids, they come in all sorts of fun designs, but how well do they do what they're actually designed for? Protecting against head injury. That's what PhD student Caitlin Young wants to find out. We are able to tell consumers which helmets are best because a lot of helmets just have to pass a certification standard and you don't know whether or not something is just scraping by and passing or if something is far superior and able to help reduce your risk of concussion. Three, two, one. The sensors inside these models measure linear and rotational motion, helping determine the amount of force on the head during impact. 